Well, the water is warming for sure, and the catch in the last 10 years has gone through the roof. We're working as harder, harder, handling more lobsters, but making, at the end of the year, less money. I'm worried that the population we have isn't sustainable, not from our doing, but from outside factors. Throughout the world, there have been cultures that have simply disappeared for whatever reason. It would be tragic for the coast of Maine to suddenly have the lobster population collapse. What are people going to do then? We understand the management of this fishery is not simple. I think we've had very favorable environmental conditions that allowed a population boom in the lobster fishery. I think we take care of our fishery. I think that the management practices we have in place will not allow us as fishermen to over-harvest it. But last year we caught more product than ever and we got paid less than we did the year before. Total dollar value to the state of Maine. What's wrong with that picture? Along the coast of Maine, the communities here are really concerned about the effects that climate change is having, particularly in those communities that are really dependent on fisheries. Our organization's point was to bring together and create a common understanding of what the challenges we face are. And the way we saw doing that would be to bring together the scientists who understand the issue technically, policymakers who are going to affect the future of our ability to access the ocean, and to bring together the resource harvesters who obviously count on the ocean day in and day out for their livelihood. Well, in Maine, we've seen this amazing time series uh, over the past five decades from stasis to the five-fold increase in the past decade or so. While that was starting to happen, apparently in southern New England, shell disease and increasing episodes of stressfully warm temperatures have taken their toll and essentially caused the collapse of the fishery down there. When I started lobster and the guys in Long Island Sound and Rhode Island made us look like amateurs. I mean, they had big boats and they caught a ton of product. The population density of the lobsters on bottom down there was huge. And I think we're hitting numbers like that in places in the state. The unproven theory amongst most of us is that that body of lobsters has come this way. Where we catch lobsters has changed. Where historically you couldn't catch a lobster, now that bottom has lobsters on it. Inshore bottom, places that historically were good. I don't have any traps there now because I can't catch anything. I don't know what that means or where they're coming from. If it's here because of the waters being warm or they're coming from the west, coming this way because the water's too warm there and they're coming here. I don't know. The history of ecosystems are that there's these great spikes and then there's crashes. And obviously there's an ecological imbalance that's going on out there right now. It's quite possible that our, our lobster population is too high. If you took every other species at their maximum poundage, sum them all together, they do not equal what lobster is bringing in today. Diversity in fisheries is, is important, but diversity in fisheries will not fully address the situation we find ourselves on the coast of Maine now with lobsters, where there's such a high reliance on lobsters. We cannot have a $300 million fishery and people are less than six months uh, later saying the finances aren't working for this fishery. That does not bode well. When I got into this, it was good money. Now we've got regulations in place, and the boats aren't cheap, and the traps aren't cheap, and the bait's not cheap. And so people that come into this with six or eight hundred traps when they're ready to go, um, they've got a big nut to cover. The answers aren't going to be simple, but it's clear from the skill of the fishermen we're working with that they've been adapting their entire lives. 
We need to figure out management systems that will allow us to access new arriving species from other parts of the Gulf of Maine. We need to be looking at managing at scales that respect the way that the ecosystem functions and how we describe to others the impact that these changes are having on all of us. This is a time when people are rolling up their sleeves and trying to sort out what the future looks like for them and they're going to continue to work hard to get the best information that they can. I think there's a lot of us that pay attention, get involved, but uh, I think a lot of guys are counting on a continuous large amount of lobsters as normal. And that's a driving factor in where they fish, the way they fish, and how much they need to catch to sustain. I mean, if this fishery drops to twice its 100-year history and weight, somewhere between 40 and 80 million pounds, we're in trouble.